Hey everybody, welcome to our live. I am Heather and we come to you live each and every day. Um, I am going to check to make sure you can hear me. Um, I know you can see me, but can you hear me? Yes, you can. All right, we are set. All right, so how's everyone doing today on this glorious day? Glorious, I tell you. Um, so we are going to talk every time we do these we always go through the basics i cover um you know what um actually i'm gonna plug this in because i don't know when it was plugged in we you know obviously i start with no makeup on and then i do my makeup as we go along but it's a great way for you to ask questions um and and just learn about luminesce i mean we're all at different levels and so it's great um you know it's, get your questions out there uh, it doesn't have to be about what we're talking or discussing at the time i can multitask uh, so you can talk to me about different things like hey heather i was doing my makeup the other day and this happened or hey what about this you can ask me about anything um if there's certain things that you want to see being done great way to um you know, ask those questions. If I don't have it with me at the moment, um, I'll make a note and then we'll do that, um, you know, in the next live. Um, so to make sure we can get it done. So, hey, Tina, how are you? Good to see you, Tina. Um, I do have a little bit of lipstick on today and because um, my lips were dry. But just to point out, <laughs> and my eyebrows are done um that just a little bit of color on your lips can make a big difference as well and when we're talking about makeup i'm not talking that you have to like beat your face every single time you do makeup no ma'am no ma'am people do um you know we do makeup different ways um my smoky eye could be different than your smoky eye uh, some people just do a natural look. Some people will have a beat face every single day. And so it's, it's what your interpretation of the of makeup is. Um, for dry skin with heart, for dry skin. So for dry skin, Tina, um, <clears throat> do you live in a dry area too, or do you live more in where it's humid? Number one is a question I want to ask. Um, but for dry skin, make sure, um, what should be, okay. I was like, harsh. What should, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> um, Hey, Veronica, good to see you. So make sure you're moisturizing your face before putting on any makeup. I mean, when you're airbrushing the same thing goes as far as like with traditional makeup you would moisturize beforehand now if you haven't checked it out check out our website because we do have sorry my, my ankle itches um we do have skincare that is that you can be applied with airbrush and it is to help plump the skin it is great for dry skin and so um you definitely want to try that out now if you are if you have dry skin and you live in a dry um you know um dry area um then you may need a little more moisturizer um i love ponds it's old school my neighbor uses it and um she looks amazing. And so I started using it a few years ago. Um, you can use a regular moisturizer with, hey, Lisa, how are you, girl? You didn't get, um, hmm, you didn't get the notification. I don't know. Something's up with Facebook. I'm just going to tell you right now, y'all. Um, yeah, we're on every day at 1030. Yes. I was at 1032 today. Um, but with airbrush makeup, that's what I love about it. Hey, Lori, 
is with airbrush makeup, it's not all or nothing. Okay. So you can use traditional makeup with airbrush makeup. And so you can use a regular moisturizer as long as it's oil free with luminous. Okay. However, and uh, Tina says she ordered it. Our skincare, hands down, thebomb.com. It is amazing. Um, and there are different bottles, different formulas. I left it out there, but um, it's like little drop. They're almost like they're bigger than this, but they look like that. Um, where you actually put it on through the system. You can even mix a couple of drops in with your foundation. And so it is amazing and it is really good. If um, <clears throat> you go back on Tina, I don't know. Uh, well, actually we did. It, it aired on Facebook and YouTube. We did a um, makeup or a skincare Wednesday skincare. And uh, one of the ladies who works with us in our beauty department in the um, on the phones, she, we did skincare with her for I think it was six weeks, six or eight weeks. And she used it. She and you you can see you can go back and look at those videos. Um, her name was Helen and Dorothy did the uh, videos. It was amazing. Amazing to see the results. So you really do get to see see the transformation. She was one that really didn't do a lot with her skin beforehand. Um, and then she did smoke and stuff. So she had the lines around. So that's all of that. Um, you'll see if, and just go through all the videos you see. Um, if you go to, if you're on YouTube, go to the lives and then all the lives, you'll see that. So take a look at that. Uh, Lori tried it and said, it's amazing. Skincare challenge. Yeah, it is great to see that. Uh, Heather D, all are, we're all called Heather. It's the Heathers. Um, it is amazing. I have to say, I have to say. Um, you're welcome, Lori. I'm glad we got you that birthday little gift. We did a birthday bash for Dorothy. Dorothy is on our, um, and maybe Lisa's on there today. Lisa, are you on there today or is Dorothy? We on Facebook on Luminous Live. If you type in Luminous Live, all caps, Luminous Space Live. Um, we have an artist that's there all the time uh, from nine to five central time. And they run videos. They'll run, um, they ask, you can ask questions, um, but it, it's Luminous constantly. And so you are able to ask questions um, on that as well and get your answers um, immediately. So you can look at that afterwards, but you want to watch this first. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So, oh, it's Dorothy today. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. And I labeled, uh... ah, Lisa's doing a live demo at noon. Yay. That is cool. Very cool. Um, I'm going to do, let's do this and then y'all are both answering that. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do glow first. I do have a little bit of regular concealer and this is one thing you would never see with Lumines, but see how it's creasing a little bit right there. So I'm just going to kind of tap that out. My lids are so dark that I have to have a little bit of concealer on. Um, all right. So I'm going to add a. I'm adding, hold on, I'm going to show you because we're talking about drops and I'm going to add one, two, three drops of glow. Now glow is a high, it's a luminator, not, I'm sorry, not, it's, not, it's a highlighter. Um, glow can be used in different ways. There is, there's no shimmer. There's no luminosity to glow. It's just a straight up highlighter. So I can highlight underneath my eyes to make it um, brighter. Now you saw how light it is, but I don't want to see that immediately, right? Because how we spray, remember when we're airbrushing, we keep it four finger widths away from our face. We keep it moving and we're barely pulling down on that trigger. A lot of times people get this home and they put it on what? Like traditional makeup. It makes sense. You only know traditional makeup up until this point. And so doing this, um, putting this on in an airbrush form is different. 
it is going to be different. How it feels on your skin is different. How it looks on your skin is different. All of that is different. So when we're learning to airbrush it, we have to retrain our brains. So I have my system on, I'm going to, I'm going to actually spray my paper towel just to make sure I start my movements first and then I move it down. Now, a lot of people are like, well, how do you know where it's going? Hello, I can feel the air. Wherever the air is, is where the makeup's going. The air, wait for it, is your brush, okay? The air is your brush. Ooh. So make sure, like, if you just want to sit there and practice just using the air so you know where it's going, then do that. So you'll get used to <coughs> the the air and using that it also blends as we apply it i'm gonna do a little bit on my lids do another pass underneath my eyes now remember i only use three drops three drops and i'm still using it there's still stuff in there now i can go in and kind of cover those areas i need to cover it where i know i'm going to need more coverage but notice how it's a very subtle highlight underneath my eyes and i blended it all the way down i didn't stop there you don't see demarcation lines it's blending as we apply it and guys i'm still using it okay three drops and now look i still had to blow some of that out that is how light you are spraying your face this is dry it should not feel wet or sticky if it does you may be too close you may be staying in one spot too long. Chances are you're pulling back too hard on that trigger. Okay. So you want to watch all of those to make sure it you're doing it the correct way. What Lori, how many times what? Can you use the skincare? So I'm guessing that's what you mean. So skincare, you want to use morning and night. If you look on our site and look up whatever products you have, guys, all, our site at Luminous Cosmetics, it tells you everything. It has, I'm going to use the shade three right now. Um, and so, um, or actually this, this is shade five because I was at the beach. Um, my niece got married um, first of August. And so I was darker. Um, and I don't have a current three. So I am going to use a five, but I listen to this. I'm putting a couple of drops of the glow in there so I can um, lighten it up a bit. But, um, oh, I meant to, I meant to show you my drops. Boop, boop, boop. I did five drops. <laughs> and then I'm going to do probably two drops. Yeah. Of glow, turn it on. And now I'm going to back bubble to mix those together. So on our site, um, and when you can look up whatever skincare you have, it will list the directions. It'll look, I mean, it lists everything. It lists ingredients, it lists uh, directions, it'll list use it, whatever. I mean, it lists everything for you. So it'll tell you whether you use it once a day or twice a day, whether it's morning or night, morning and night, whatever it is, it'll list that on there for you. It tells you what it does, what it's good for, all of that. <clears throat> All right. So now I have my, my new and improved shade three. It was a shade five. I put a couple of drops of glow in there, mixed it together. Then when I start, I'm going to start on one side of my face and you can start anywhere. I'm four finger widths away. I keep it moving. I'm barely pulling down on my trigger. I know where the makeup is going. Why? Cause I can feel the air. I'm gonna keep going, blend it down my neck because I don't want that demarcation line. Now, because I did glow all the way under, I don't have to go up all the way with the foundation, but I'll just go to meet it. And yes, you keep your eyes open when airbrushing. And now I'm kind of just making, I make one complete pass. Most of my coverage is in here. So that's 
where I keep most of my coverage. With airbrush makeup, you don't have to put the same amount of product everywhere. The other thing is you definitely want to start, start that movement first before um, pulling down on the trigger because if you get that hot spot there, which isn't a deal breaker, just tap it out. Tap it out, tap it out. And then you can, I am think I'm out anyway, but you can airbrush right over it, okay? That's the other great thing about Luminesce. There's pretty much no mistakes. You can't mess up, guys. Even if right now when you're spraying and you're, maybe you are spraying too hard, um, and let's say um, your face feels wet, it's okay. Just take your finger off the trigger and then you can, um, you know, use the air to dry it. Honest to goodness, guys, there's really no mistakes. If you do get a, or a hot spot is what we call it. I like calling it a, tap it out, keep going. But what people do is they start, they hold it here. You're like, okay, I'm four finger whistle away. They hold it here and then start pulling back on the trigger. Well, that till the, make, the makeup comes out. Well, that's going to give you that. So start the movement first and then pull down on the trigger. The other thing, once, if you practice using the air, just using the air, and then practice with water, I promise, guys, that practicing, you're going to start picking up on cues. If we were all in a room, everybody was airbrushing, I could tell you, if I closed my eyes, I could tell you who was out of makeup and who was spraying too hard. You'll start hearing those clues, I promise. Hey, Andrea, how are you? All right, now put my two drops of blush. Our blush is what? Super high pigmented. Most of the time, I do my blush first. Um, I do my blush first because if I do get blush happy and it gets a little bit too much, then I can, I'm always airbrushing over it and it's going to blend for me. But now when I'm doing it before or after foundation, I do a little bit on each side. And I wanted to just put two drops in there and that's it because it will bloom. If after those two drops, you feel like, oh, I could use a little bit more, then add one more drop. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. Now the natural blush, that one doesn't bloom as much, but it doesn't matter the color. You can use whatever color we have and blush. Just um, make sure one or two drops. That's all you need. Because you can tell, like, it's starting to come out a little bit more. Uh, how many drops of Tip Top Cleaner do you use for the breeze? So, at the end, I use, well, I would probably use, I will tell you, I first clean it with water. So, this is, we have Tip Top. This is actually water. And I rinse it out first with water. So, I fill it up. And you do want, and I'll back bubble a little bit. You do want to, um, and I'm just, this is cleaning right now, and then I can back bubble, clean, back bubble, clean. You can close this. I just want y'all to see that so it doesn't go everywhere. But the big thing is, do not put this under the sink. Now, our stylus, our airbrush stylus, you can put under the sink. This, do not. Why? This is the, this is the whole kit and caboodle. This is electric or battery operated. So you're going to short circuit it if you put it underneath. So use your tip top, use a dropper bottle, whatever. But um, Andrew, to your point, I do clean it with um, water first. And then I'll put about four to five drops of the tip top cleaner. Afterward, afterwards, I feel like it saves me a little bit on the tip top cleaner because it can be cleaned with just water. So if I can get a jump start and clean it with just water first, and then you get a good clean with the tip top cleaner. Why wouldn't I do that, right? All right. So now I'm going to go in with my nude note. And with my dress, I have a lot of colors. <laughs> um, but what do I want to use? Ooh, do I want to use blue? It's like a blue gray. Let's see what this is. Ooh, I'll use this one. This is like a bluish gray. Put that on my lid. 
And yeah, I'm applying it with my finger. Okay, so that's on. And you might go, well, I have not done that too good. Well, because I haven't blended it yet. So I'm going to take a blending brush. One of these, and then I can go in and I'm going to soften that edge. From where I had applied it. Now I'm going to go in with a light medium brown. And I'm just adding it kind of a, a transition color. Right there. And then you can have fun with the, you know, I always line with eyeshadow uh, because one, it's softer. All of our stuff is high pigmented, so it lasts. So I could line with blue. Um, that's a nice little blue too. I could line with um, brown. Whatever I'm feeling, right? It's all about what we're feeling, how we want to do it for the day, right? And then <clears throat> I'm going to grab my mascara. If I can find it. Oh, no. Did I forget my mascara? I think I forgot my mascara. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I did. I did forget it. I'm, I have one of our, um, um, do I have one of our older mascaras? Ah! I don't know if we do. Let's see if I can get anything out of this one. We are working on some guys, so no worries. There's a little bit left in this one. Whew, Cause can't have this look. without mascara. There's, I think there's some empty ones in here that I might try all of them to make sure I can. Tina, we're reformulating, uh, we're reformulating the one that we have. We're almost done. Um, and so you should see it shortly. So stay tuned. And so, yeah, having mascara is a, that's the one thing, um, like I can't go out of the house without, <laughs> I, do y'all have that one thing that you're like, eh, not going out of the house without this mascara is my one thing. So, um, very, very importante. And then you can finish it with a lipstick or a gloss. Um, doing just a. When you have a 65 pound golden doodle that chews up on your lipsticks, it's very exciting. I know, I know, everybody does, everybody does. And I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss. So there you go. Easy look, easy look, and what? I used three drops of a the glow to highlight underneath my eyes to start to start that coverage to cover up dark circles um, to kind of give me that natural highlight underneath my eyes. And then I used five drops of our foundation. But I did mix a couple of drops of the glow to lighten it up, but I didn't use all the foundation. And then I used two drops of blush and that's it. If you're like, whoo, Heather, I'm using way more than the five drops of foundation. That's okay. Know that that's what you're going to get to. Number one, that glow that I used, that's going to start giving me coverage. And so because, because you have to think of when I say we're retraining our brains into thinking luminous, we're not putting it on and then wiping anything over it. We're applying it with the airbrush. So it's going to, it just, more passes creates more coverage. If it has pigment in it, you're getting coverage. The blush gives you coverage because it has pigment in it. Okay. Again, we're not wiping it off. And so think about that 
when doing it. If you're not doing your makeup with five drops, you're doing 10 or 12. That's okay. That's okay. But just know, always count the drops that you use because what you'll find is you'll start using less and less. Okay. So keep practicing. Every time you have the airbrush in your hand, you're learning. You're going to learn something new. Uh, keep watching our show, our shows so you can learn something new. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Really enjoyed seeing everybody. I hope everybody has a marvelous Tuesday. And remember, we're here Monday through Thursday, 1030 a.m. Central Time. All right. Bye for now.